Hello Video Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can use the Polar Grid tool to create something like this. This sort of basic design here of the circles and things. Right, first thing to do, just going to select all of that and remove that. Now I'm just going to make that, put that back to black. And now I'm just going to go over to the Polar Grid tool. So select that and I'm going to go full stroke, 8 point and black. So. Just have to click on that to show the settings. Concentric dividers, 10, and radial dividers, zero. Click OK. Hold the shift down and create the lines. So now you've got that. What I want to do now is ungroup it. So go to object and ungroup, and object ungroup. Sometimes it requires more than one. I've never actually worked out sometimes why it does. But anyway, so you can ungroup it. And now what you can do, you can actually select the individual lines. Now what I want to do, just quickly show you there, you've got basically points around the edge. So what I want to do is use the scissor tool to remove parts of there. So I'm just going to click different positions. So I'm going to, but before I do that, you can do it obviously this way around, or you can do it the other way around. It's probably easier just to do it quickly now. It's actually to say, actually set the sizes for these. So I'm just going to quickly go through this. So I'm just going to say, have that at 12. It's easy to do, but what if you actually want to create circles with different sizes on the same circle, then obviously you want a 12 point or an eight point. Obviously you can do this afterwards, so it doesn't, so you can just select it and then change it. But I'm doing it, I want it all consistent all the way around. So it's easier just to change it, just like that. So just select that, four, and two, and maybe make that 14, four, six, and maybe a slight one there. And then you can remove them, of course, as well. You don't have to keep that, or you could just actually just leave some in the center as well. But I'm just gonna remove all of those. It depends on what you want to achieve with the design. Now, right, once you've actually got that, Select that, and let's say you've got points there, which you can remove just here. Just gonna click there, and then, and of course you click anywhere with the scissor tool along that line. It will tell you if it can't do it, but just click there, and you can see what happens. It removes that. So you can go here to the stroke, and to get the rounded there, just go over here. The cap is round cap at 12, obviously, or 10 or whatever, but round cap is set there. Now, you can of course click there, maybe move a little bit with the scissor tool, and I'm just gonna remove a bit there. Again, go to another line, click there. So obviously it's gonna be different from the last one, I can't remember the exact positions of all the, of the lines. So just click on the actual line with the, you can see it selected there, and just click and Of course you can rotate it afterwards as well if you wish, just to change the position. And Right, so you've actually got the design. Like I say, you can actually just go up there, maybe click in a different position, remove that bit. So you can create this sort of nice, sort of like a record track design. Now, once you've done that, you can actually go and select the individual parts. And again, like I say, you can maybe keep them all the same color. And of course, at this point, you can turn around and say, well, I don't actually want this at 12 point. You can always, of course, just go for four point at that point. So it's, but I like to actually keep it all consistent around the, the edge. And then maybe go to that one, change that color, and change that color as well if it wants to change. And once you've done that, you can, of course, like I say, modify it. You can also rotate it as well, so you don't have to, have to keep it in the same position it was there. And maybe also with the stroke, you can always go for dashed and create maybe a slight variation there as well. Right, hope you found this of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel, always adding new videos every couple of days. And also please check out the www.graphicextras.com website. Got lots of uh, tutorials on there as well, plus free stuff and many more. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.